Hi. So I got some major downloads over the weekend and I've been waiting to share them. Um, they're, they're a lot. Um, a lot happened this weekend to share. Um, so, uh, I'll just kind of jump into it. So I'm just going to say hi. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm going to plug myself. I've, I make jewelry and art, talismans and wands and all those kinds of things. So if you get a chance to check out my Etsy, it's in the description below. Also, I do tarot readings and, uh, readings. Uh, I also do Reiki and, and we'll talk a little bit about the Reiki today as well. Um, I can do remote Reiki. Um, I can even do in the future Reiki. Reiki master <laughs> working with energies and also if you'd like to schedule an appointment you can email me and also thanks for subscribing and liking and sharing and just checking in with you how are you doing today I know that the energies right now are especially on Mondays <laughs> tend to really feel the energies on Mondays um after the weekend and we have a lot of planetary stuff going on i don't know if you all saw my venus video but venus kind of helps explain um the planetary solids and moving down that whole you know magical path of things um so there's that part um so i hope you're doing well if you and your family are doing well and uh, don't forget to check in with yourself. And especially if you're going through any kind of emotional stuff, very important to check in with yourself. All right, so I'm gonna move into the downloads. So this is kind of a trip and it took me, it's kind of a trip. It took me a while to really absorb it and, I, and I'm still working on it. So I drew a diagram of it all. And I know that probably a lot of this is backwards, but, um, I can, I can make it a little more clear. So we have been miss, you know, I've, I've mentioned many times that we, we are mistaught a lot of things. Um, one of the things that we've been mistaught that is like, I didn't even realize how much we've been mistaught this is the number or the symbol one okay so one is actually where is really I have a pen right here but real quick <laughs> okay so I'm gonna talk about first of all numbers is a trick word for symbols okay number is a symbol a number is a symbol okay so the symbol that we've been told is zero is actually one this is one pretend this is a pie right this is a pie a, 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 or a cake right that's one cake okay then if we were to take a piece of this cake okay there's a piece of the cake right and if we negative We take this piece away, right? We take this piece away. We're not adding, we're removing this piece of cake. And once we move this piece of cake, then you have a negative one piece of cake. Okay. In the negative, when they teach us, okay, if, if you are into math, 
if you are into math, then you already know that two negatives make a positive, okay? So there's a lot of mental magic that happens when they teach us symbols, then we call them, so a symbol is also used in music, a symbol, right? It's a sound, okay? A symbol, ding. It's a sound. So number is a lie. It's actually a symbol, which is a sound, and um, like a bell, okay? And the circle, or what we're told is zero, is actually one, okay? So here's, here is the one. When something is pulled away from it, it's actually a negative, okay? So we have the one, which is the whole, one, one. This is the true symbol of one. This is the true symbol of one. This is how they keep us in lack mentality. This is how they keep us not understanding math. This is why people sometimes have trouble with math. This is like the biggest trick of all of the tricks out there. They teach this to us, but they teach it to us so that, so um, this was an, an added, they teach it to us like this for two reasons. One, it puts us in a time line, okay? So if you have zero, they call this, this number, this symbol, they call this symbol zero, and then you have a one, and then you have two, and then you have three, and then you have four. So that's addition, when actually it's subtraction, okay? So the negative, think about a battery, the negative is how we get to the positive. We need two negatives to create a positive. And so this is what it would look like actually, right? So we have the circle, the hole, okay? We have the hole, here's the hole. And then when you're taking, when you are creating, say this is a, a mother, okay? This is a mother, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, this is the womb. So what happens in the womb is it will remove a piece of particle called an egg. And for the masculine, he will remove a particle called the semen. These negative ones, because these are holes, this is a one, this is not a zero, this is a one. So these two negatives will then come together. See, negative, negative, see how we draw it even? And it will create a whole nother whole, okay? The negative and the negative come together and create a whole. And then this one will release a particle of itself. And then say this, say another, you know, after this particle and this particle, they come together and then they create a whole nother particle. So this particle and this particle come together and then they create another particle, okay? Another whole one particle. It's not a zero. Zero helps us stay in lack mentality. If we, if we believe that multiplication is adding and if we believe that positive is adding, then we think negative is lack. And if we think that one is actually zero, then we are literally stuck in lack mentality, believing that the whole is a zero. Okay. Um, let's see what else did I say? Okay, and then the whole is in a negative space. See, this is what actually is happening. This is what's happening. So it looks like a swirl, and it can look like a swirl, and it looks like sacred geometry. 
and it is sacred geometry but how it works is that this this symbol this symbol that looks like a one is not a one it's a particle that has been symbolized like this and then what happens in our minds is that symbol that looks like this represents you or me which is one but that's not true we are whole we are a whole one right this is one this is the true number one symbol for one everything else outside of that would be a removal so even when we go into the download numbers and we usually see them as zero zero one 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 zero one 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 zero one 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 zero one 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 that type of number sequence it actually goes like this one minus one minus one one See, it's, it, it, it becomes the symbol of individuality, but that's actually not true. This is, this is the true number one. So we're actually fractals. We're, we're, we are whole particles of the whole. Okay. Let's see if there, if I have some extra things to add. Um. I also, through this, okay, through this is also the Ankh, okay, because the Ankh actually represents the whole minus a whole. So what I've been having, what I've been telling my brain, this is the true number one. And, and actually, if you break it down into like fractions, then we can see because say we put we put a, a whole one. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Okay. So we take a whole. This would be a whole, a one, and we divide it by four. Okay. So you take this whole, and you divide it by four. And you get, you see that? It becomes, we, we, they translate it into this. One, they say that's the number one fourth. But actually, I'm very proud of myself drawing backwards like this. But actually, it's one fourth. And you can literally see what happens. There's the one. You take the one, you divide it by four, and now you have four pieces of that one. This is the true number one. Do you get it? Um, so if you're, if you're watching me and you get it, and you understand kind of where I'm coming from, the, the, the new education would be to focus as this being the number the symbol the sound of one and then even in meditation we use om rather we say om om is the word of creation i have a theory i believe one is the sound of creation is the symbol of creation one one in the english language brings your tongue up to the back of your teeth just behind the back of your teeth if you're a avid meditator uh, many people know that when you put the back of your when you put the tip of your tongue to the very just behind your teeth that it brings a relaxing um energy into the body it's a way to bring in parasympathetic um, relaxation, which is your nervous, it helps calm your nervous system. 
one ohm ohm as beautiful it is and I'm not negating what we've been taught in this world but even the movements of ohm is lips closed ohm one mouth is open tongue touches the back and you think about certain languages when we say that word one uno uno you still bring the tongue to the back of the front teeth um uh chinese i, I want to say each 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 so in our language each is everyone each ni san chi right each each Still bring your tongue to the back of your teeth. I find this interesting. Um, this was the downloads I got. And then from the male perspective, this is what I heard. By creating symbols like one, two, three, we create a linear looking um, creation. And the from what I, from the male perspective that I heard, uh, it was made linear to control the whole, which is the feminine, the one, the mother, can't control mother, right? Can't control, can't control the circle. The circle is the mother. The mother is the one. And if you think about it, when a mother has a child, she's negatively, she's not adding to the world. She's taking a piece of her whole self. She's taking a piece of the other person who helped create the child with her. They two particles two whole particles from each being they are now negative they have released a semen they have released an ovary that is negative right so you take a negative from the from the mother you take the negative from the father and now you have created a hole within the mother when she gives birth she is now negative one whole child now that child becomes a whole a one you see what I'm saying they're teaching us it's addition and it is but it's addition by negative first this is this is what how we were created we are particles of the whole they didn't add it, we're not added on we are actually a negative we are a negative minus piece of the whole and then we become a whole and then we take a negative of us we minus a piece of us to create a new piece of a whole so <laughs> I hope this brings some insight um even the number world oh this part okay so even the dna strand if you look at a dna strand okay you have a negative from the mother from a long time ago a negative from the father a long time ago a negative from the mother a long time ago a negative from the father a long time ago a negative from the mother a long time ago a negative from the father a long time ago a negative from the, okay and then to remind us of the whole that we're all connected to right this is what our dna looks like it's a ladder of minuses okay it's a ladder of each particle that has been removed from the whole of that time of creation, okay? So by telling us that zero exists rather than one, then we can literally conceive of nothing, the idea of nothing, of zero, of lack when if we understand that when we minus a piece of ourselves so if we look at it energetically and we talk about like giving you know we talk about the law of attraction 
if we are aware that when we're giving something, we are actually bringing a double negative into our life, which is a positive, then we can understand more fully the grasp of, of um, having, of, of having enough, of abundance, of already being enough. Um, and it truly shifts how mathematics is also a language. It, it is a symbolized vibration to help lock us in a certain way of thinking. But in truth, the number one, looks like this. And see all these, all these that I drew on here are, it's a negative zero, negative one, negative one, negative one, negative one. And all these negative ones also link to our energetic field. We're able to fly. We're able to actually create a um, opposite electromagnetic field with this type of information. We're actually pulling pieces of energy to create whole pieces of energy. Energy only changes form. It cannot be killed. So by teaching us that energy goes like this rather than like this because that's what energy is really doing constantly right then then we're going to think like this rather than like this that's my share for today about this um Two negatives are positive. So you have two negatives in addition and two negatives in multiplication. Two negatives make a positive. It's because it's two whole pieces of something, which would be, it literally defines birth. A piece of the 